Welcome to Scale Model Workshop. Here's a quick method that uses fine wire to create precise rivets or simulate small diameter bolt heads. The layout's done with a scribe and dividers. A pencil line's far too wide for any sort of precision work. I like to spot the location of the rivets with a center drill because it's more precise than a punch, and it doesn't distort the surrounding plastic. I make these center drills from old worn out burrs. Before drilling any holes, it's always a good idea to double check the actual diameter of the wire. Even though this wire is supposed to be 32 thousandths, it actually measures 31, and this is very important because the rivets are going to be press fit. The holes are drilled with a drill one size smaller than the actual diameter of the wire. The first step in making the rivets is to flatten off the end of a length of wire by rotating the end against a separating disc. Then follow it up with a quick pass to radius the end. Then place the wire at an angle against the edge of the disc and rotate. This forms a taper while it almost cuts through the wire. I use a modified hemostat to hold the finished rivet and snap it off the end of the wire. The wire rivets then placed into the hole. Once the rivets are in place, they have to be set. The set's easily made by drilling a shallow hole in the end of a piece of brass rod. The hole should be one or two drill sizes larger than the wire rivets. The depth of the hole corresponds to the height of the finished rivet. Note that the edge of the set's radius so that it doesn't mar the area surrounding the rivet. To finish the rivets, the set's placed over the wire and push flush with the surface. This method lets me create precisely located, sharply defined rivets or small bolt head detail. This entire back took about 15 minutes. And I spent longer than that looking for the fuel cap that slipped out of my tweezers.